This is Santiago. He is an 11 year old boy who enjoys the Harry Potter series, wants to become a scientist, and loves playing with Lego in the comfort of his home. He has come up with a genius idea of creating a farmhouse for one of his scientific experiments. The problem is, he can't find the right pieces. Thankfully, he has the Lego digital designer installed on his laptop. It is a program that allows the user to build with Lego blocks freely. But wait, this program is kind of confusing. On the left hand side there are too many repeated blocks in different colors so this makes for a long scrolling to look for pieces. The arrow key rotation is hard to follow. Also, when joining blocks together the program guesses where to place the pieces making it hard to build. It just takes way too long. This sucks. With our prototype upgrades, Upgrade? we can reduce the time it takes to build the masterpiece. Yes. Whoa! For prototype A, we have improved several functions. For one, the search bar. It now allows the user to pick the preferred color first. Then the brick type, allowing for a faster way to search. We completely redesigned the joining tool. We now have a bottom specifically for joining by clicking two desired faces, one from each piece. We also redesigned the color changing function. Now we can pick the new desired color and then select a block. To change several blocks to the same color, the user only has to hold the command key. Whoa! For prototype B, for this upgrade on the left hand side, we have added names for each of the pieces and reduced the congestion by separating the color choices for the types of pieces. The user can now type in the block size and select the desired color. If the user wants to replace the initial color selected, they only have to click on the bucket tool, select the color and then click on the block. The users can also rotate the piece by dragging up and down. Here, the user simply selects the piece and uses the arrow keys to move the blocks to another spot. In order to move the piece up and down, we simply hold the Y key and use the up and down arrows. By clicking the group button, the user can select various pieces and move them together. There is a locking button that when it is clicked, that piece cannot be moved or modified. To build, we simply click on a piece, then right click on the other. By doing so, a pop-up menu will give the user the option to place the piece on top or the bottom. And voila, with the upgrade, in just 10 minutes, we created his genius farmhouse. Like the original, he can purchase his creation. Yay!